Good morning everybody, I'm going on an adventure and bringing you with me. The weather here in the UK is absolutely minging and I've got some mental challenges coming up next year. So I'm heading off to some winter sunshine. So sit back, relax, join me as we head to sunnier climates. See you in a bit. Here we are then, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I'm at Bristol Airport. And do you know what? I'm trying to do this a bit on the cheap. So I managed to find a return flight to Fiortaventura for about 80 quid. I've got a hotel booked for the night for about 50 odd quid per night. So it's not too bad. And let's face it, with the cost of uplift days and fuel and things, it could actually be cheaper to go abroad than it is to do like a bike park trip at home. So there is an ulterior motive because we finally made it in a beautiful Fiortaventura. And that is that the winter time in the UK is doom and gloom. And I spend a lot of my time just cleaning my bike rather than worrying about riding it and training. So I thought what better place to come and bash out some big rides and some sunny miles and really make the most of the bike time than here. It is stunning. Plus I get to use this, my new Garmin Edge 1040 Solar. Because look, let's face it, with all this sunshine, I can just head out for a ride for a big old day and not have to worry about that at all. Plus, it can help me keep track of all my data and my training stats so I know I'm heading in the right direction. Fiortaventura is one of eight main islands that make up the Canary Islands. Nestled in the Atlantic Ocean around 60 miles off the north coast of Africa, the island is home to some amazing mountain bike, ranging from wide open gravel roads to technical single track, whilst always taking in stunning scenery. And with the coast never that far away, this is truly a great spot for some sunny winter miles. Look out people, look, I've come for a bit of an adventure and look at the lunar landscape here, sick. So basically, because I want to make the most of my time here, I've snuck out for about an hour, hour and a half to like get the legs spinning before doing a real big ride tomorrow. See how I feel, see how the legs are performing and stuff and I'm loving it. Let's see kind of what we can get involved in today. I'm sure there'll be a few mishaps, dramas along the way. Unos momentos después. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. Ah, 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 ah. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey. Ah! It's all right, it's all right. Hey, ah, 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 ah. Hey, come here, come here, come here. It's okay. Put your head back. Back, 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 back. There you go. There you go, buddy. Ah! You're welcome. <laughs> On the way home, nice little, well, probably about an hour and a quarter-ish blitz by the looks of it. Last leg, just on the way home. Time to then chill out at the hotel. And uh, yeah, drop a big one tomorrow. Right, you knows it. Keen as mustard, feeling good, bike's working well. Everything's like as I'd hoped. So from like a training perspective, things are looking positive. And I tell you what, this place is beautiful. Having finished my first day's reconnaissance ride with 96% battery left on the device, I was intrigued to see what it would use the following day tackling the main ride. <sighs> right, today's the main day then. I planned about a 65 kilometer route on commute there, taking in a good mixture of single track. It's got some solid climbing and some fire road bashing in it as well. We're gonna be starting from where our hotel is in Coraleo in the north of the island. Then head southwest towards the coast, taking in the Bayuyu volcano and Calderon Hondo volcano, something I was very excited about. After that, it was heading down south towards the Montaña de Tindea or the Sacred Mountain, then eastward climb to the top of the Malpe de la Arena, where one of the last volcanic eruptions on the island took place. Then back, heading up north towards Coraleo, where we started from. So with that then, I'm good to go. The Oys TR, well, she's primed and ready after yesterday's little test ride. So let's get going. Okay then, it's time to leave sea level. So Climb Pro's just popped up and we've got about a 2K climb. 
Behind me there is Mount Bayo. Bayo? Excuse me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it's an inactive volcano from yesteryear. It's very impressive. And then basically, we've just got all these big craters that you can see dotted around, which we're diving right into the middle of. Let's go. Oh, wow. Check this out. Oh. The Calderon Hondo, an actual huge crater of a mountain. It's insane. Just think that millions and millions of years ago, like lava would be spewing out there. And that's what all this lava field is, basically. All this rock here, we can see with the big air bubbles in it, that is essentially just dried up lava from a long time ago. But that's where we come from. That's where we're heading. And that is where we're heading further. parking perfect i'll leave that there right we've hit a full-on oh, oh, sand bog here it's not ideal it's making things very hard go look how soft it is oh yeah Less than pleasurable. Never really like riding in soft sand. But oh well. Right, we're coming up to the 20 kilometer mark. So we're, we're chipping on and look at the coast. Look at that. Amazing. See ya. What do you think, Joey? Absolutely stunning. Hefty swell on the go. Look at that breaking. Oh. Board is required. Do they make a fold out surfboard that you can carry on the back of a camelback? If they do, or if anyone out there makes one, let me know because I could do with it right now. I'll be honest, I was a bit dubious about coming to Fjordventura because it's into the unknown. I did quite a bit of research and saw that it has some good riding. It looks obviously very pretty and volcanic, but it's always weird coming into the unknown. And then you see stuff like that and you're like, whoa, good choice made. So the sun intensity average is picked up to 47%. It is proper sunny. I just had to top up my sun cream. 25 minutes extra battery life, it's good. On the performance metrics, well, look, I don't think you can see, that still's telling me I've got 78 kilometers in the tank, so today should be an absolute breeze. Okay, we're nearing the halfway mark and my uh, my tummy's getting rumbly. So we're heading to a little town called Lutter Liver at the bottom of another volcano where we're gonna stop for a quick refuel, re-energize, crack back out on the ride. That there, people, is the Montagna della Arena. It is huge. We are skirting around the side of it right now after having a delightful piece of lunch. It was delicious. Hit the spot, enjoyed the sunshine a bit. So we are fully on the home stretch now then. We are way past the halfway point. And look at that. I don't know if you can see. Oh my giddy aunt. All the solar power there. Hour 15 of extra battery time added to that device. Belter. Let's check in on my stats. So. I reckon I've still got 50k in the tank, stamina and potential both at 47%. So it's kind of showing about right, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pretty strong and confident. I'm stoked that I come out here to ride because it's actually, you know, it's taken a lot of the stress away so I can just ride. I'm not thinking about all the cleaning, just being freezing cold or you're not stressed. You're not just trying to smash it out as quick as you can to get it done. You can actually sort of take your time and focus on what you're doing. But cameraman's waiting further ahead. So we got to go check him out. Yo, 
thought I'd give you a quick geography uh, sesh. So Coraleo is that town right in the distance over there. That's where we started this morning. We weave through these three in front of us here, along through to the coast where we went up the coastline a little bit, around some big hills over the back there, then we cut inland. And now we're on sort of the final quarter, if you like, of the ride. So we're weaving around that Montagna della Arena, where we'll head a little further along the ridge, hang a left, back to Coraleo. <laughs> It was all going so smoothly until just then. Watch this. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's so soft. <laughs> Dropped into a ploughed field without realising it. Straight OTB. Keeps you on your toes, stuff like that. Right? Good times, good times. Right, we are now the cruise on. There's cameraman Joey. Uh, we are now heading back down to the coast for the final stretch. And it is literally the final stretch before you see us go along the seaside and then uh, yeah, pull back in. And we are done for today's ride. Hell of a ride it has been, in fact. Lovely jubbly. How's it going everybody? Right, even the best laid plans don't quite go to plan. So uh, the route I'd planned finished up, or part of it finished up going through the most powdery sand whoa, in the world. So it's actually, we're cutting cross country, quite literally. It's quicker for us to walk over to another path inland slightly, away from like the powder sand. Cameraman Joey's loving it, look. Yeah, that's living the dream right there. So, yeah, quite interesting. A bit of drama to end on. Job's a good one. You all right, bud? No. <laughs> He's loving it. It's a rich pain training ride. What more does he want? I thought we'd got lucky so far on the ride in terms of mechanicals, but I've just snagged the sidewall, but I reckon the sealant is holding her up. So I think we're gonna top it up. We're literally so close. I mean, look, that's the finish over there. We were so close. I reckon a bit of a top up, we can get away with it. Not holding. I thought it was gonna hold, listen. I reckon we're gonna have to plug her up. Oh my God, I'm gonna get a puncture again. With the finish line in sight, I was amazed that I'd only dipped down to 84% battery and I was out for around eight hours. Incredible. Bring on the really big rides. Ooh. <laughs> ah, right, done and dusted. Hell of a ride that. Fiorta Venturas, oh, very bright. Those can stay back on. All right, here's a little summary of today's ride. So it was just shy of 63 kilometers with about 750 meters of climb. So not too bad at all. And a real good mix of just blasting some roads, fire track and uh, some single track as well. And I tell you what's impressive is actually with an average 65% sun intensity, the Garmin charged an extra one hour 46. So I could easily have kept going. The old performance metrics, well, they reckon I could have kept going as well. But do you know what? It's coming to an end of an amazing ride. Fiorteventura is truly a wicked place to come. And I can't wait to come back at another time and explore some more of the trails on different parts of the island. Tell you what, everyone, let me know what you thought down below in the comments. I always love to hear from you. Is there anywhere else you'd like to see me go on a bit of a, an adventure and do some winter training? I mean, I will happily do a lot more winter training if it's gonna look like this. Anyway, look. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'm off to go get a nice refreshing drink. So thank you very much for watching everybody. Don't forget a little like and subscribe goes a long way to supporting the channel. And I'll see you next time.